Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Time. Today's movie recap will be an adventure, drama, and action film from 2023 called Inside. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. An art thief known as Nemo shares the story of his childhood. When his teacher asked him what three things he would save from a fire, Nemo answered his cat, an ACDC record, and his sketchbook. Eventually, the cat died, and he lost the record when he lent it to a friend who never returned it, but he still has the sketchbook because art is for keeps. In the city of New York, a helicopter drops Nemo on the roof of a very fancy penthouse. He enters the apartment after cutting through security netting. He waits for his accomplice to give him the codes to disable the security system. Now, Nemo has seven minutes to steal the expensive art that decorates the apartment. His main goal is to find a famous self-portrait valued in millions. However, after searching every room, Nemo is unable to find the self-portrait, so he decides to leave with the available paintings. Unfortunately, his accomplice gives him the wrong code, and this triggers the security system. An alarm begins ringing immediately as all exits lock automatically. Desperate, Nemo tries to break the window of a decoration, but the glass is unbreakable. Pushing the door doesn't work either. Before the alarm drives him mad, Nemo grabs the screen from the wall and breaks it. This only results in the air conditioner malfunctioning. Nemo removes the cameras and sensors, silencing the alarm. He attempts to make an escape hole in the front door. With the AC broken, the room becomes hotter. In the kitchen, the tap and burners don't work. The AI fridge warms him of missing supplies and plays Macarena when left open. After hydrating, he resumes his work on the door only to find metal beneath its wood. Attempts to contact his accomplice fail. He's been abandoned. Knowing the owner is on vacation, Nemo settles in. He finds vodka and food in the fridge. The TV, part of the broken system, barely works. He does stumble upon the security cameras, spotting only the night receptionist. Exhausted, Nemo sleeps on the main bed. The following morning, the sound of a helicopter awakens him. He rushes to the window, but remains unnoticed. The oppressive heat forces him to cool off in a small pool in the living room. His accomplice still isn't responding, and the apartment's phone is dead. A search through drawers yields no alternatives. When he uses the bathroom, he faces another issue. No running water, leaving an unpleasant odor. Attempts to break other windows fail. They're all unbreakable. Taking a moment to think, Nemo spots a skylight. He immediately starts moving furniture underneath, building a scaffold to reach it. The escalating heat compels him to strip down and frequently cool off in the pool. He tries drinking from the pool, but the taste is too disgusting to tolerate. During a break, Nemo notices there's a small garden with sprinklers on it. He uncovers the holes, but nothing comes out. He also checks the water in the fish tank, but it's too nasty to drink as well. Getting desperate for a drink, Nemo takes the ice trays from the fridge and munches on every ice cube until they're all gone. He then resumes work, using pieces of fabric from the furniture to hold the scaffold together. Little by little, the structure grows, but when he tests it, he still can't reach the skylight, meaning there's more work ahead. During breaks, Nemo sketches in a notebook and checks the security cameras. One afternoon, he notices a cleaning lady named Jasmine on the stairs and finds her attractive. As food becomes scarce, Nemo rations what's in the fridge and turns to canned goods. To his frustration, there's no can opener, so he uses a knife. One attempt results in a cut, which he cleans with pool water, bandaging it with a piece of his t-shirt. Sometimes the heat becomes unbearable. Nemo resorts to sticking his head in the fridge, licking any remaining ice and enduring the incessant Macarena tune the fridge plays. Eventually, he manages to open a locked door, revealing a pantry with more food, including meat. Suddenly, he hears a noise and runs to the garden. To his relief, the sprinklers operate on a schedule. He drinks his fill and lies in the dirt, letting the water cool him. Progress on the scaffold continues. He uses materials like curtains and the bed. When he finally reaches the skylight, he finds it embedded in the ceiling, posing another challenge. One night, he sketches people from security cameras, with Jasmine always being his favorite. 
When she cleans the corridor outside his apartment, he rushes to the door for help. But Jasmine, engrossed in her music, doesn't hear him. Later, Nemo faces another issue. The AC malfunctions again, making the apartment cold. Days pass. Nemo starts sleeping on a pile of bed sheets after breaking the mattress and collects water from the sprinklers using pots. While he keeps busy, his mental state deteriorates. One day, he leaves the fridge open, dancing to Macarena. He indulges in the last jar of caviar and the final bottle of alcohol, lounging in the pool and singing, feeling almost regal. The following day, he breaks the vase, fashioning the shards and some fabric into protective goggles. Nemo chips at the skylight frame, planning his escape. Without water and burners, he struggles with cooking. He soaks hard pasta in water for a day to make it edible. Nemo talks to himself and watches the security cameras regularly. He learns about the building's workers from the footage and uses a telescope to observe neighbors seeking connection. After much work on the skylight, Nemo discovers there are heavy bolts beneath the cement, presenting another problem. One morning, he wakes up to see sunlight reflecting off a piece of the vase, casting a mark on the wall. Finding it beautiful, he decides to mark that spot. Later, he finally removes the cement frame from the skylight, but the bolts remain the challenge. As Nemo's mental state worsens, he sees a pigeon and asks it for help, but it flies away. In frustration, Nemo damages a photo of the apartment's owner. Searching for clothes, he finds a hidden passage leading to a secret room. Inside, he initially thinks he's found a body, but realizes it's a life-size doll. He also discovers a valuable self-portrait and a rare edition of The Marriage of Heaven and Hell by William Blake, which he takes. One evening, Nemo sees Jasmine outside his door taking a cigarette break. He tries to get her attention by banging and shouting, but she doesn't hear him because of the vacuum she's using. That night, Nemo dreams he's at an art exhibit. He meets the apartment owner and Jasmine, feeling tension when the owner whispers to her. Overwhelmed by a conversation about art, Nemo decides to leave. The next day, Nemo tries to create a makeshift wrench from a chair to tackle the skylight bolts. Although the wood breaks easily, he persists, crafting wrench after wrench. Slowly, he manages to turn the bolts. With food becoming scarce, Nemo resorts to eating the fish from the tank and dog food. Both taste revolting, but he forces them down. The bathroom presents another challenge. With the toilet clogged, he begins using the tub. Nemo also starts drawing on the wall where he marks the sunlight, creating ultra-like space adorned with eerie art. Each time he removes a bolt, he places it on the altar, symbolizing his hope. His mental state continues to decline, leading him to converse with imaginary figures. One afternoon, Jasmine looks at a security camera. In his heightened state of paranoia, Nemo believes she saw him. Nemo eats the last piece of meat and crafts a costume from a carpet. He sits in front of the altar, making strange noises. As he removes the last bolt, he falls, breaking a leg. He makes a splint, but the pain worsens his mental state. He hallucinates fireworks and sees Jasmine who seems to taunt him before disappearing. Nemo sees he has a tooth decay and tries to fix it himself but falls, feeling attacked by an imagined artist. When he weighs, he spots a smoke detector on the ceiling. Hoping to set it off, he starts a fire. Instead of an alarm, sprinklers soak the apartment. He runs to the door expecting rescue but hears no alarms. As Watcher fills the rooms, Nemo saves some paintings, hiding them under the stairs. Nemo reads, The Marriage of Heaven and Hell, Beneath the Scaffold, accompanied by visions of a girl and a dog. He chants about heaven and writes on the wall about the necessity of destruction and creation. Climbing the scaffold and repeating his chant, he disappears. The open skylight leaves his fate uncertain. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Take care and see you next time.